Hi my friends and welcome to Yoga with Yemi. Today's practice is for a flexible spine. We want to go a little bit more into detail into the spine. The spinal column consists of different sections uh, starting at the top with the cervical spine which contains of seven vertebrae then the thoracic spine which is basically the middle part of the spine where the rib cage is attached and this is the biggest part of the spine and then the lumbar with five vertebrae and the sacrum which is kind of a fused area where the vertebra are naturally fused together but also five vertebra actually and then the tailbone which is a tiny little end of the spine with three vertebra and that part is largely overlooked because we hardly can feel it unless it's injured so we don't pay that much attention to the tailbone but actually in the yoga science the tailbone has a pretty important status and it is said that in the tailbone a lot of energy is contained that is kind of dormant you could look at it that way but when activated through practice through the practice of yoga or other um, events the that energy all the way down in the tailbone can be awakened and activated and then it actually rises through the spinal column all the way to the top of the skull and actually to the top of the head and that is a very significant event in the yoga science but for now we're just gonna look at the spine as the central column of the body or sometimes it's also called the axis of the physical body it's important for the skeletal structure for the bones and then of course all the muscles that are attached to it but also it houses the spinal uh, cord which is a big part of the central nervous system so it's a protector of the nervous system so let's um, come onto the mat just stretch yourself forward with the legs and then just for a moment um, just erect the spine let your arms relax let the belly freely move forward and back and let's take a couple of breaths inhale through the nose if you can and exhale out through the nose or the mouth whatever feels better in the beginning so maybe you can feel your sit bones or the two sides of the gluten just find a way to feel the right and the left side of the body feel the right foot the left foot the legs so feel each side the hips the arms and hands so when we become aware of the two sides it automatically apply implies the center so if you feel your right and your left hand in between there is the center and everything then points towards the spine actually if you feel the two shoulders dropping automatically the implication is the center which is the spine again so that's just a simple way to always find the way into the spine into your inhale center. in and exhale out let go of the lower spine and let's roll again away 
little movement with the hands roll into the sacrum nice and slow and then all the way down towards the tailbone really feel yourself rolling over the sacrum this plateau of spine it's not very flexible it's more like a piece of bone and then bring the feet down and tilt the hip bones up a little bit so we roll a little bit further down all the way down into the sacrum into the beginning of the tailbone very nice and exhale slowly roll back and really feel it again feel the rolling over the sacrum the plateau drop into the lumbar a little tuck a little push down and deep breath so the, yeah. the strength comes from the hands and forearms elbows so this is what keeps us up here there's a little bit of weight only on the top of the head so you don't want to kink the neck by bringing too much weight onto the head